What's up guys, Tyler Darcy Madness. Uh, I just uh, saw something cool the other day, so I just ordered one up. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video, guys, uh, unboxing and kind of showing it off. Uh, as you guys know, I'm really into the uh, RC semi trucks. Those of you that know me know I have my grand hauler up on the shelf here with the excavator and the flatbed. I saw these trucks, a lot of people asked me about my truck and I got 1,500 or 2,000 bucks into my Tamiya grand hauler truck. and it's quite expensive for a lot of people, but then the the new line of diecast master trucks here came out. This is the <coughs> Cascadia. Um, they also have a Western Star dump truck. Um, but I just want to do a quick unboxing and kind of show you guys the truck. I haven't even personally uh, really looked at it too much, so I just wanted to show you guys at the same time. These are coming in as one sixteenth scale, uh, so they're hair they're a hair smaller than the Tamiya, which is fourteen. Um, but to be honest, it's not too much of a difference. Um, these trucks are coming in, I think it, yeah, 240 bucks. So significantly uh, cheaper. So I just wanted to take it out, have you guys look at it. I do have my Tamiya trailer here too, so we can see if that uh, bolts up to it. Uh, but enough into that. We'll take a quick look at the box. box. There's not really a lot going on with the box. Uh, they got a few things on the top there. Comes with a cheaper remote and a couple of things. It's got, uh, sound uh locking fifth wheel uh, authentic scale model 2.4 radio functioning headlights and turn signals so you're getting some pretty decent stuff here i'm going to go ahead and open it up and just take the truck out so we can take a look at it uh hopefully the battery's got a little bit of juice in it we'll we'll turn it on see what the lights and stuff are about like i said i haven't personally even played with this truck or or seen one out of the box just ordered it and then we're here. Check it out at the same time. Are you seeing it at the same time I am? Okay, so this is the Diecast Masters. Um, they got more than just this truck. They got some scale construction equipment too, which I do have in the shop as well. We'll check that out too. Uh, comes with a little instruction book here. Uh, basic few pages here. Huh. Max hauling capacity, 11 pounds. It's interesting. I think if I have, I think I have a video on my, my channel there, the grand hauler, I got up to 90 pounds of pulling with the three speed transmission. So a little bit different there. Uh, I'm not really sure how to even get this truck out of the package here. Looks like it's two pieces of stuff on here. Got the radio on top here. This is the same basic radio all the diecast ones are coming. Um, if you're a local, you've been down the shop, you probably see my little excavator on the counter. It's the same Xbox looking controller that they all come with. Honestly, it's pretty cheap, but I haven't had one break on me yet, so I guess it's working all right. And most of these are coming, yeah, with a little uh, lithium ion battery. Uh, I believe it's a 2000. And they also give you uh, <clears throat> the charger and batteries for the remote. So these kits are pretty nice. They come with everything you need to play with them. Um, you don't have to buy anything extra. And, and these little 2000 batteries actually last quite a long time. I've had my, my demo excavator on the counter and I've only charged it once in the last couple months and everybody's been playing with it. So it looks like these pieces of star foam are quite well taped together here. See if we can get it apart here. There we go. There's the truck. Coming in a really nice blue here. I am digging the blue. Looks like it's tied together in the back. I have a piece of twine. That's interesting. No zip ties here. Forgive me on this one. I haven't seen them use a piece of uh, bailing twine before. Oh, 
front. Oh, this one's. Should we? Yeah, we just got that one. All right. Should be free. Out. So it is a lot lighter than my Tamiya truck. Give me guys a quick look here. Uh, the wheels are a little bit smaller, but that's all to be expected. It's uh, 16th, not 14th. Uh, it is plastic frame rails. Uh, the fifth wheel is spring loaded. Got a servo on here, so I'm assuming it's automatic lock and unlock. I'm not sure. The underside here looks like one axle yeah just one axle looks like it's driven um i'm just got a fake looking drive shaft between the two so definitely a little more on the toy grade side than the tamaya trucks but it's significantly cheaper so not bad scale wise it looks pretty good if you're just looking for something to scoot around and play with every once in a while and have a little fun with not a bad price I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't uh, maybe put the battery in it here. Looks like uh, <clears throat> looks like you do need a screwdriver for the bottom there, so we'll grab a screwdriver. We'll throw the battery in it and uh, power it up. All right, so I got the battery in it. I'm gonna power it on here. Just throw the radio on there. I'm gonna power the truck on. Like I said I haven't even used this model yet. The battery does screw in, which is kind of weird for a rechargeable truck, but I'd probably just leave the screw out of it. Clip it on there. The radio makes a little noise here. So you got... Oh. A blinker noise, but I don't see any lights. Let's hit these buttons here. Not much going on there. So it locks and unlocks the uh, the hitch there. Not sure how to drive the truck though. Oh, I guess you hit that button there, fire it up. Our blinkers aren't working now. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but. It is flashing, I can see it there. It's the running noise. So you got reverse sounds. Forward sound, here I'll hold it up again. I said only one axle, but it's driven. The engine sound does turn off for the blinkers, which is a little weird. I'm gonna unlock the hitch. I did bring my Tamiya trailer. I got my <clears throat> Tamiya trailer from my grand hauler. A lot of guys were asking me if it hitches up to it. I'm not really sure. Let's check it out. It does, but my trailer doesn't really like it. cost more than this truck unfortunately i don't know if diecast master is going to be coming out with a trailer um but those of you that do have the tamaya stuff and maybe just looking for another truck to you know that the kids play with or you just want to pick one up and i mean i think this trailer is like maybe 250 bucks but you do have to build it so for about let's say 500 bucks you could have a fully working semi now the sound and the lights obviously are a a little on the cheaper side but it's, it's not too bad really um 
the trailer's a 14 scale, so it's a little bit bigger than the truck. The deck's a little wider than the back of it, but it really doesn't look too bad in my opinion. Um, so that's the, the Diecast Master Cascadia uh, 16 scale semi. Um, not a bad truck by any means. Uh, it's my trailer's fit. Um, for the price, like I said, I don't think you can beat it. Hopefully they come out with their own trailer, maybe a hundred or 150 bucks or something would be cool just to complete the whole truck. But in the meantime, Tamiya trailers work. So all in all, not a bad truck. Thanks for watching guys. If you're local, come check it out at the shop. I'll have it on the counter. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.